Some analysts believe President Robert Mugabe is the one keeping ZANU PF from splitting apart. Infighting and factionalism within the ruling party over who succeeds him is getting worse. All 10 provinces have endorsed a 92 year old leader as their 2018 presidential candidate. That means, at least for now, there is no vacancy for the top position. Let us be one. We are one family. We are the family of Zanu And the family is bound together. But thank you for understanding between these standards. Mugabe asked party officials to remain united. Opposition leaders Morgan Tangirai and Joyce Mujulu say they're considering forming a coalition. If they manage to pull it off, they could form a formidable force to challenge President Mugabe in 2018. Mugabe told party officials to spend more time preparing for the election. ZANU-PF officials say they are not worried about the opposition plans, but Mugabe is under pressure to revive the slowing economy. Zimbabwe is broke. Some civil servants won't get paid in December. National mobilization is important to express our displeasure uh, at the way the economy is being run or mis being mismanaged, and therefore we will continue to do it uh, in spite of the brutal response that government sometimes resorts to. Africa's oldest leader says things are getting better and that next year Zimbabwe's economy will grow because of government's black empowerment policies. Zimbabweans wait and see if promises made every year by their leader materialize. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Masingo.